Hey everybody, welcome to the Best Family Homestead. I'm Aaron. Uh, I've got Robert from Watch Your Step as my cameraman. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> ah, it's all good. So, knocked my knife off my belt there. Uh, well, welcome to life on camera, right? Um, so today we're going to be talking about chinking. What is chinking? Um, some historic recipes of chinking and if you have a log cabin, especially an old log cabin, how how can you make a recipe uh, to chink your cabin? All right. So the first thing is what is chinking? All right. Well, chinking um, is nothing. Some of the old timers called it spit. Uh, is nothing but if you look up where we've started up here, getting everything ready. You know, when you when you were a, a settler, the logs you didn't have a sawmill, so you couldn't make perfectly flat cuts for your logs to sit perfectly flat uh you know you did saddle notches or you did uh dovetails so you had gaps in between your logs south georgia maybe not so much of a huge issue uh florida if it was warmer but if you were on up in uh you know the northern part of the country it got cold it got <laughs> or it still it gets cold in the winter so you wanted to block the wind so chinking is nothing but a mixture of whatever they had available down here in south georgia it would have traditionally been a combination of red clay like this which we just pulled uh out of the ground mixed with horse hair uh goat hair um cow hair oakum which oakum would have been uh like corn husk or wheat husk um hemp because hemp was around you know make, making ropes out of just any kind of fibers to hold the the clay together they had mixed water with it and shoved it into the uh shoved it in between the the logs to block the wind so fast forward you know a few hundred years there's a lot of modern companies now that make chinking that they sell uh that does a great job but it is it is not cheap um if you're building a new cabin definitely worth the money you know for the expensive chinking uh you guys know me uh, i do everything on a budget and i figure out how to do it my own way um but uh going back to the, the modern product if you have a log cabin that maybe the logs have been built within the past uh, or logs have been cut within the past year two years you know they're going to shrink up to an inch so the the newer products on the market account for that shrinking and and they don't crack so they'll expand as logs shrink now this old girl here you know these logs were cut sometime around 19 or 1827 you know they're 194 years old they have finished releasing their moisture they're they're not going to move with the weather very much with the moisture and the temperature um now i'm still not going with i'm not digging up red clay for the chinking what i'm going with is the recipe i came up after talking with uh some experts and just going off my own experience we're going to use a mixture of portland cement sand and one of the modern things i'm using is going to be non-shrinking grout and that's just just in case you know just with a little bit of movement i have uh the traditional recipe called for lime um the non-shrinking grout kind of does the same thing as the lime in holding everything together making it bond better but it's going to do it uh it's got some modern additives in it that's going to just help make sure with the little movement i have it doesn't shrink so what are you going to need to do this project well start with your grout recipe you're going to need a wheelbarrow you can mix in a five gallon bucket uh i'm, I'm doing a wheelbarrow even though i'm not going to mix a whole lot because i want a good consistent product um and a shovel a hoe you know something to stir it with uh this recipe calls for uh, two parts of cement two parts of sand and one part of non-shrink grout brand doesn't matter uh any any of these products will work this old house uh they had lots of access to wood i think they must have had a uh maybe some kind of old band mill 
close somewhere in the area um, we have not found any evidence of chinking where we've been exposing these logs and these logs are in such good shape they were covered up I mean they were covered up not long after this house was built uh, however I want to expose the logs on this house because like I said the logs have been cut for under 94 years but the house has been or the the logs been cut for under 94 years but the actual trees themselves are 300 350 years old and I want to absolutely showcase that history so I'm gonna go ahead and go with a chinking which is what the majority of the houses would have had um, log cabins uh, in the area and it and well not just in the area but log cabins in that time period as well as like you saw the dirt we had over here the red I had considered putting uh, some red dye to make the chinking red color but again I'm since this house was not originally chinked I want to showcase these beautiful beautiful locks so I'm gonna leave it the white color which will weather and turn a darker gray to bring out the the beautiful logs so I'm gonna take a second get everything set up and we're going to start on the recipe and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to mix up your um, chinking for your log cabin if you have one or if you think you want to build one in the future Now for my cement bag, these are heavy and I don't want to lose any of it. So I'm just going to cut the top here and I'll be transferring what we don't use today into a five gallon bucket. All right, so like I was saying, we're going to use two parts cement, two parts sand, one part grout. Now this is not, you know, biochemistry. You don't need a beaker. You can see I've got my little bucket here. I just put a mark in here so I know about where it's at. Uh, if you're 1.01 1 .01 part, it's not gonna make that much difference. So you don't have to worry about, you know, actually measuring, measuring this a whole lot. Uh, if you have sensitive skin, I highly recommend using gloves because the cement will dry your skin out like nobody's business. But obviously I have working hands and calluses and I just know that cement doesn't really bother my hands much. All right, so we've got our two parts, Portland cement. I am glad that the sand comes in user-friendly bags, cement bags. As soon as you bust them open, they break and there's nothing you can do with them. And put a two part sand here. There we go. And now put our one part modern non shrieking grout. And really, this is the most modern uh, product we're using. Uh, Portland cement. Portland cement has been around since the turn of the century. Uh, all Portland cement really is, you can take a look here. If you were wondering why you use this instead of quickcrete or some general purpose cement, you can see this is powder fine. So it absolutely makes a very slick surface and the chemical reaction is a little bit faster. A little bit faster. Um, quick crete or just a general purpose cement has a lot of little rocks in it uh, You know, it's 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 a lot more coarse. So for chinking, you know, you don't want a big coarse uh, You don't want a bunch of rocks and stuff between your logs. So that's why you go with the Portland cement When I say modern That's not really modern now the base the base product here in your non shrinking grout uh, the base ingredient is still Portland cement 
but there are polymer additives in this that are going to keep this from um, shrinking. All right, now let's see if I can do this without getting my cement wet here. All right, now this is really important. Like if I'm mixing regular concrete, I just turn the water hose wide open and add a lot of water. The consistency of your that you want from your um, chinking, all right, so if you think about it with a regular type of cement, you're gonna be laying it on a generally a horizontal surface. You're gonna be putting cement, laying your brick. You know, laying cement, putting a brick. Well, with chinking, you're putting it on a vertical surface. So it has to be, I guess for lack of a better term, like icing. So basically what we're gonna be doing is icing in between our logs. Uh, so we want this to be able to build up. We want this to be nice and thick. So I'm not even gonna put the hose in here. I'm just gonna start adding water just uh everybody so about what i'm looking for nice and thick a little bit thinner cake icing but that's uh that's what you're looking for there a little bit thicker than like normal concrete so now you know know how to mix up chinking for a log cabin uh well you know oh a way uh and a few other ways so i hope you all enjoyed this video make sure and like subscribe and share and stay tuned and i'm gonna show you guys how we go through the entire process uh, completely for chinking an old log cabin. So stay tuned.